Manchester United are ready to step up their interest in Ramos before the start of the transfer window because it looks like Ten Hag wants to get this deal done and dusted and he wants to be said such that if at all the latest owner of United is really named, then he'll tell him, please get me so and so. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys? And are you watching us from my go by the names of Rock and David? Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily now we are talking about Wout Veghorst stories coming in from Old Trafford linking him on a stake you know and he has also gone ahead to defend himself and I know it might not be music to most of the fans of United ears but this is what is supposed to let you know about Wout Veghorst looking like he might be kept by Eric Ten Hag at the club of Manchester United if things go his way. And lastly, we are discussing Ahmad Diallo, a player who really single-handedly lifted Sunderland into the playoffs to see whether they go ahead and really play into the Premier League next season as they are going to play Luton Town uh, in a, in a two-game two tie. And if at all they happen to knock them out, they'll be waiting to see whom they're going to play at Wembley in between them and Middlesbrough versus Coventry. Now, I would like to extend my gratitude to everyone that is really sending me prayers, guys. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really getting better. I think you're seeing it, some bit of improvement, right? I'm even smiling according to how I came here yesterday. But uh, I think today we are going to do three or four videos because at least I'm getting back to the normal. That's it. Thank you, guys. I've seen your messages onto the channel. Um, you people covering me the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Others wishing me a quick recovery. Thanks for you guys and the audience is really amazing. But don't forget to subscribe, guys, because we want to hit 13,000 subscribers, right? Let's hit 13,000 subscribers before we get into the summer as the summer for the summer the target is going to be close to us hitting 4,000 subscribers and I know we are going to be hitting them because last summer we had close to... <clears throat> 10,000 new subscribers, you know, and this summer 100% believe <clears throat> we might hit 40,000 subscribers. We might see ourselves getting close to 20,000 subscribers plus. That's it. So, there is a reporter coming in from Dale Mail. He's known as James Nancy. He has gone ahead and confirmed to us that Man United are preparing to step up their interest in Goncalo Ramos with a potential record bid as part of the major summer rebuild. A deal worth between 70 million pounds to 100 million pounds, including add-ons, is poised to be discussed between Manchester United and Benfica for Goncalo Ramos. Now, <clears throat> this is like music to my ears because the mirror has been so much, the mirror have been so much, uh, so much concrete, according to Eric Ten Hag ever since he came into Manchester United. The mirror have showed us that they are really that team that has gone ahead to really keep it to really keep us in the know about Eric Ten Hag and uh, I know the reason as to why Ten Hag has gone ahead to really choose <clears throat> maybe this man over Harry Kane you do know why if Spurs is calling in for 100 million pounds for Harry Kane who is 30 years of age and um, Benfica is calling in for 120 million euros that is 100 million pounds for Goncalo Ramos, who is just 20 years of age. So, I really believe that Ten Hag has gone ahead to make his decision onto this guy. That I'd rather bring in a 21 year old player to come in and really play for my team, other than going in for a player who is that age of Hurricane and buy him at the same amount of money. And for that, you'll very much understand why Eric Ten Hag is going in for Goncalo Ramos. When you look at Goncalo Ramos this season, he has found himself netting seven goals in the Champions League in 14 appearances, right? Then he had to play 27 games in the league. He has 17 goals and two assists. That is Goncalo Ramos. And uh, I think he still has a lot to improve. And secondly, he has a resale value. Thirdly, <clears throat> he's a player that Eric Ten Hag has been following ever since he came into Manchester United. And uh, even last summer, United wanted to buy the player, but 80 million euros that United had could not really pursue Benfica to sign this player that is Goncalo Ramos. So, looks like Ten Hag is in the same line with us that no reason of getting in Harry Kane on 100 million pounds when he's just 30 years of age 
yet there is a player who is having a huge age difference of nine years in between him and Harry Kane, who is going to cost the same amount of money. And I think <clears throat> Ten Hag is right on that, and I'll back him any day onto that decision because we don't need to spend money stupidly like that. You know, I'd rather buy Goncalo Ramos at a hundred million pounds than Harry Kane, a player who's going to be left with one year on his contract, you know, by the summer, and you might get him on a free next summer. You understand? I think it's good business for United. You know, however much you want in, you want in Harry Kane. I think it's better to talk to Harry Kane and tell him, please, we can't spend a hundred million pounds on you because you are really a player who is 30 years of age. But next summer, don't renew your contract at Tottenham Hotspur will come in, sign you, and give you a salary of £300,000 a week and a huge sign-on fee of like £30 million and you bring at the club of Manchester United. I think that will be the best business that United would have ever gone ahead to do for this player known as Harry Kane. And uh, I think Harry Kane will also welcome it, but will Spurs welcome it if another player says no to their new contract? Let's wait and see how that happens. But for Benfica, one reason I like them about is... If you bring up their money, they'll release the player because Goncalo Ramos has a release clause of 120 million euros. That is 100 million pounds. If United can raise that money and I think <clears throat> will only pay like 70 million pounds and the 30 million pounds will go in as add-ons, I think. I think they'll get us this player as up. So, I want Eric Ten Hag to go on and really do that signing because it makes a lot of sense to me. And I don't know what sense it makes to you but for me it really makes a lot of sense as far as <clears throat> this is really concerned i really believe that we are into we are into a scenario that most of you have gone ahead to appreciate what eric ten Hag has gone ahead to do this season and i think <clears throat> us not having a prolific center forward has been a problem because we've seen ourselves playing with wout veghost for very many games and martial who makes us a better team is always a player who is out of the games because of his injuries so as it stands i really believe that ten hag is making a very good decision onto this player known as goncalo ramos after that let's discuss a little bit about world veghost and uh we are having chad Danka. He's a football reporter for the Times. Has gone ahead and really told us that Wout Veghorst is hopeful. He has a future at Manchester United beyond the end of the season after positive talks with the club. Wout Veghorst <coughs> said in those talks, the club said they are satisfied with me. It has absolutely not been communicated with me that United don't want to continue with me. They appreciate my value. They believe I'm absolutely an asset. For the team, of course, I have had different things in the media. I have to wait and see what happens and focus on our games in the league and cup competitions. That is Wout Veghorst for you. Now, to me, if you tell me that Wout Veghorst is going to be our third choice striker, I agree. Yeah, because we are going to be having Goncalo Ramos or Harry Kane next season as our first choice striker. Then Anton Martial will come in through in the mix as a second one and uh, <coughs> Wout Veghorst to be played as the the third choice striker to me it's he, that's okay for me that's okay for me and he's there he's there just to be purchased on a chip 10 million euros that is like 80 million pounds that's the amount of money that you need to go ahead and really pay for this guy and uh, <coughs> you tell me that we are really retaining him at Manchester United as a third choice striker a hundred percent I'll admit because Keeping him at Manchester United for one or two seasons more, I think, will help us really find ourselves in a position of really being safe in the season where Ten Hag has gone ahead to confirm to us that he wants his team to be playing. He wants his team to be playing close to 70 <coughs> matches a season. And talking about the 70 matches, that means he's going to play 38 games in the league. You know, play close to those are six Champions League, six group stage games. Those are 44 games. <clears throat> Round of 16 quarterfinals. Those are another four. Those are 48 games. All right, let's stop at that and see. Then you go to the FA Cup, we can play like five games. Those are 53. Carabao Cup play like five. You know, those are like 60 games. So 
Ten Hag wants his team to be ready to go ahead and really play every finale that we are going to be into next season. If at all we find ourselves in the Champions League next season. So I think Wout Weghorst is really one of those players that I think if at all you are keeping him at United as a third choice striker, that will be good and music to my ears. And I want that to happen when we just going ahead to bring in another centre forward at the club of Manchester United. You never know whether Visit Company, having qualified for the Premier League next season under Burnley and signed a five-year contract, he might be wanting to sign this player. That's it. Not so? So to me, as it stands, it's all about a player known as Wout Veghorst. And let's wait and see how that is going to happen in here at the club of Manchester United into the mix. Now, this exciting young lad known as Ahmad Diallo, a story has been reported by Samuel Lucas that <coughs> Ahmad Diallo will be invited to attend the FA Cup finale and it's understood he has had a cup final suit reserved in his measurements. Man United want Ahmad to feel involved as he prepares to return to the squad ahead of the preseason tour of the US. Now, Ahmad Diallo, a player that most of the people never saw coming, but to me, I saw him coming. I base a lot onto you, the quality of the player and what he brings on the field of play. Every time I'm really giving a hint on how I want this player to stay at Manchester United. Now, all, what, all this is done in the name of really <coughs> ushering him into the team of Manchester United. When you look at how Ahmad Yel has gone ahead to tear up the championship, in championship under the Sunderland football team, it's obviously an indicator that Anthony's position is in danger. Trust me, it's in danger. Ahmad is going to come in through and play there. He has more to offer onto that right attacking side of the midfield than Anthony. You know, this is a boy who will create something or nothing, create something out of nothing, and he is not really giving up. And all this being done by Manchester United is a sign that they are so much appreciative of what this player is going to hate to be down at Sunderland and they want him to be part of the US tour. And I think, no brainer, it's all about Ahmad Diallo going to the preseason, put in the required shift, and obviously <clears throat> get us to the levels where we want him to be as we fans of Manchester United. And I think Eric Ten Hag is going to usher him into this team of Manchester United immediately. And I believe that with the fixtures of United, of the Premier League being raised on the 15th, the first game that we're going to play at Old Trafford or anywhere away from home, I think Ahmad is going to be a competitor because of what he has onto his legs. I believe he's more than Ganacho. That's it. People have not gone ahead to appreciate him, but I've always told you, he's more than Ganacho. The problem was, Ganacho's agent was okay with Ganacho to start Manchester United, but for Ahmad Diallo's agent, he pushed for a don't move for his client. That's it. So, guys, your thoughts on United stepping up? Ramos' interest are welcome in the comment section below. Then, what are your thoughts about Welt Vegohost hinting that the club has told him that he, they are really impressed with his with his spell at Manchester United, and lastly, Ahmad Diallo being given another huge <coughs> boost to be ushered into the United squad in the FA Cup finale by getting him a suit that obviously he's going to sit there and watch the beautiful game of football you're going to play against them. So guys, I cover you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I sign up for now. <coughs> See you later. And bye-bye.